Hi everyone, so the lads have returned back to pre-season. We're going to be running you through who was there, who was not there. We've got some under-23s contracts to run you through as well. So let's begin with the biggest one, I think. You know, there's a lot of speculation with Matt Ritchie at the moment. And he was actually pictured in training today. There was obviously rumours saying that Matt Ritchie's away on holiday. He wasn't going to come back to the following week. But that's a load of rubbish. Matt Ritchie was pictured. He was there. He was smiling. He looked happy. There is this talk that Stoke want him. And it doesn't match Newcastle's valuation. And so on. That's the speculation going on at the moment. But that's the big one for me. Is that, you know, he is there. He is ready for the preseason for Newcastle. And whether Stoke come in with a bid. Or the, the undervalued. Whatever. The simple fact is that Matt Ritchie is there. Training today. Which is absolutely fabulous to say. He had to play that. I want to keep most Newcastle fans want to keep him as well I don't see the point in selling him and bringing another ring winger in you've got to bring in two for me so that was probably the biggest one no Mikel Marino that was to be expected local media and the national reports now picked up he's on the verge of joining Real Sociedad when that does happen we'll bring you that as well we'll try and get a video of him as well on his move but that's not a huge surprise it's rumoured yesterday Thursday that he was talking to um Seeing his goodbyes to everyone at the club. So we'll have to see how Mikel Marina goes. There's no chance in Bemba, of course. We know that he's out in Portugal. Uh, negotiation a deal with Porto. So we'll expect that one to go through as well. So no chance in Bemba. And of course, the World Cup 2 of Alexandra Mitrovic has been given time off. Is he going to stay at the club? Is he not? Is he going to join Fulham? And Ki Sung Young, who was obviously signed last week, he is given extra time off because he's been involved with South Korea in the World Cup. Other mentions as well, the other 23 lads, there's going to be a few of them training. With the first team, so Jamie Sterry, Adam Armstrong, Carl Roberts, Sean Longstaff, who had a season out on loan with Blackpool. Um, they're training with the first team because there's not many numbers, uh, obviously. I think it was only 18 first team players that were there. So they're training and they're probably expected to go to Ireland next week. The lads go to Carton House, I think it's Wednesday off the top of your head. So that's when they'll head out over there as well. Now... Other bits and bobs is Matt Sells was back pictured as well. Didn't look very happy, but mind you, as soon as he gets out of the car and there's a camera in his face, you're not going to be exactly great, are you? You're not going to be smiling away. But Matt Sells was back. That means Newcastle have five goalkeepers at the moment, so I think two have to go. Another one, Rolanda Ahrens, he was also back. He's obviously... Um, Really close with DeAndre Yedlin. They've had a bit of banter, laughing and giggling on the way to training and in training as well. I don't know if you've seen their Instagram post, but they've been uh, laughing around. No Henri Savé. He wasn't there. Ashraf Lazar was not there either. So that's inter interesting on those two. Jack Holbach wasn't there. We know that Rafa's, if he has to stay, I know he's only got a year left on his contract, but he'll be training with the under-23s if that has to be. Um, let's talk about the under-23s because five of them have signed professional deals. Well, technically the under 18s but I think they'll be with the under 23s I'm looking forward to see how these go how these get on this year Tom Allen Lewis Cass Matty Longstaff you probably recognise Longstaff he's the brother of Sean Ollie Walters Adam Wilson of all signed professional deals and I would probably say out of those five Adam Wilson is the next big star as long as he keeps his head down keeps his uh, the right attitude progresses listens to uh, Ben Dawson listens to Rafa Benitez and just takes his guidance on board through the years and also you know uh, there is a few TV changes which have happened today if you want to see more on that because Newcastle games have been moved around for BT Sport and Sky Sports check with social media if you want to know more on that when them games will be and like I said Newcastle will travel a uh, Carton House on Wednesday uh, before we wrap up though um, we're going to just show you some pictures this is courtesy of the chronicle uh, of the lads arriving in training today so there's rafa benitez having a bit of a joke on with serena taylor who was the club's official photographer and seeing that rafa has acknowledged that the local media are here taking photos and videos of him that's quite funny that so hopefully we'll have a great pre-season you know get some signings for the door paul dummett getting out of his car nice to see him back Audition from carl dollar who's coming at the building right now newcastle have a massive five goalkeepers wanting to play first team football and getting out his car now is Jamie Sterry the right back has been uh, asked to be part of the first team alongside uh, Sean Longstaff Adam Armstrong as well Carl Roberts is another one training with the first team whilst the bodies some bodies are not at uh, the ground at the moment and this is Kieran Clark. Kieran Clark actually tells them all ourselves you've been filmed look and Lascelles looks around I think that's quality that but that's been the video let us know what you think of today's actions amongst the trainer ground see you later bye bye